mom. <laughs> yeah. We're home. Yeah. The dish story. Okay, the dish story. We lived on Lord Street. And a block away from Lord Street, we had a lot of stores, one of which was Lick Brothers, right on the corner of Cotman and Castor. And one afternoon I went, and I was on the second floor in the dish department, and it was around Thanksgiving. They had a demonstrator. There was a new kind of um, dish that they made. It's an unbreakable dish. And the sales or the demonstrator picked up a cup, dropped it on the floor. Nothing happened to Ooh. it. She picked up a platter and dropped it on the floor, and I was amazed. It didn't break. And I was so impressed by that that the next day I took Ruthie over to Lit Brothers. That's me. And I wanted to show her this wonderful, wonderful dish that they have. So I see this great big turkey platter, big, white, beautiful dish. And I said, look, Ruth, I want to show you something. And I picked up the dish, and I dropped it on the floor, and boom, it shattered, absolutely shattered. And I was stunned because it made a real loud popping noise. I was stunned. I didn't know what to do. And Ruthie said to me, Mom, what are you doing? What did you do? Look at you, what you did. Look at what you did. <laughs> and I was waiting for the store detectives to come and get me. I was waiting for security. And I'm waiting for somebody to come around and arrest me. And one woman walked by very closely and whispered in my ear. And she said, if I were you, I'd get the hell out as fast as I can. Well, <laughs> long story short is they never locked me up. Nobody ever came to sweep up the glass. And I said to really quick, let's go. And we went down the steps. And it was Melmac. It was a beautiful dish. And I never forgot that store. Ever since then... Ruthie would come into a store and she said, Mom, walk with your hands in your pockets. <laughs> That's true.